If you have a .NET solution with many projects, it can be a challenge to make sure you're referencing the same version of a NuGet package across all those projects. Here's an easy way to manage it in one spot for your entire solution. Hey everybody, it's Derek Martin from CodeOpinion.com. If you're new to my channel, I post videos on software architecture and design and in .NET. So if you're interested in those topics, make sure to subscribe. So what I have open is the eShop on web kind of demo sample application that I have. And I have two of the projects open. There's the infrastructure project and the web project. And they share a common package reference, which is the Microsoft Entity Framework Core SQL uh, Server, version 3.1.0. So the tricky part here is if you have a solution that has many different projects and you share package references, or meaning you use the same package reference across many of those different projects, you need to make sure that you keep these versions identical across all of them. So here's the infrastructure project, and here's the web project that has the exact same uh, package reference. What you can do actually is simplify this to um, remove the version from each one of the csproj files and put them in a central location. So here's two different ways you can do that. All right, so the first way to do this is to create a file called directory.build.targets that lives directly alongside where your solution file is. So again, directory.build.targets. In this file, we're gonna have a top level project element and inside of that, an item group. And this should feel very familiar because it's exactly the same way you do project references in your csproj. So if I jump over to the infrastructure project, I can actually copy this full package reference line and I'm gonna paste it into our new directory.build.target. I'm gonna make one change, which is this package reference, instead of including this include attribute, I'm actually gonna change this to update. Now what I can do is in each csproj file, I can go and remove the version. So from this line, I can actually remove the version attribute. And then I can jump over to the web one and do the same thing. What this means now is that this directory.build.targets is controlling the version for any time we're using a package reference where we include Microsoft.EntityFrameworkCore.SQL server. One other quick tip that's pretty cool about this directory.build.targets is you can actually have a package reference that you want to be included for every particular project. So for example, let's say that this Microsoft code analysis, we wanted this package reference, not just specifically for this project, but for every project, we could just simply, instead of it being in here, we could remove it, add it to our item group, and leave it as include, as that include attribute. Now this will be applied to every project in our solution. The second way of doing this, I found out by Stuart Lang. He posted this uh, blog post back in June of 2020, and this is pretty fresh. So this applies to .NET Core 3.1300, the SDK, where you can do this. So what you can do is that you can actually create a directory.packages.props. I won't go to it in it too much. It's very similar to what you would expect. You have a project, an item group. You have a package version, not a package reference. You specify the package name and the version, as well as you need to turn on the setting. I will have a link to this blog post in the description, but if you're using kind of the latest greatest at this point, .NET Core 3.1.300 SDK, check out this, the kind of the new way of doing it, which is the directory.packages.props. If you're using the directory.build.targets or build.props or the new directory.packages.props, let me know in the comments. If you have any questions or comments or topics you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments as well. Thanks. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more software architecture related videos.